When you get to the big rock, you'll go due north. How I know which way is north? There's a tree with a branch that points straight to it. Who's that? It's the sheriff. The sheriff? What are we gonna do? Just stay calm. Say nothing. I'll take care of him. Sheriff Frawley, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you out this way? Yeah, I haven't been out this way for a while. Thought I'd catch up. I'm so delighted to see you, but I'm sorry to say I was just about to leave. Is that so? Um, yes, I'm in dire need of sundries and I was heading to meet some of my lady friends for lunch later. I was hoping we'd have a little sit down, talk about some things. your husband around here? Oh, uh, well, Sheriff, you know he, he works down by the river at the foundry. I do recall that. But you see, there's this thing, and I, I need a couple of minutes of your time. Some news, some events, gossip, if you will. Now, sir, I'm no gossip. No, but you're one hell of a baker. Is that bread I smell? <laughs> I just gotta have me a piece of that. Well, how do, ma'am? This is my cousin, Dolores. Uh, please do excuse her silence. I'm afraid she's visiting from France and speaks not a word of English. As I mentioned outside, we were just about to leave and get some sundries. Leave? You're gonna ruin that bread, ma'am. What are we gonna do? Leave your cousin here to man the fort? That pretty dress? No, sir. We were both going to leave and should really... You know, I said outside that... Nah, you said you were gonna leave. You didn't say nothing about no cousin. Now that bread is gonna take another half hour. So, take a seat. offer you some tea, sir. Yes, thank you. Oh, no. On second thought, I'd like to have a slice of Vegeta and a slice of that bread. I find it odd that uh, you would leave with that bread still in the oven. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I guess with all the goings on, I startle into a distraction, and I do apologize, sir. I'm, I'm afraid I don't know what a mojito is. It's a southern drink. I, I'm embarrassed to ask you this, but last night, we caught a couple of runaways just north of your homestead. They mentioned that they came through here. Your cousin. She's from France? Oui. I, I mean, yes. She's staying with your mom and pa? That's right. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no. I, I just wanted to be careful. It could be tricky for some folks around here of color. You should know that, having to have that freedom certificate. Did your folks make sure she was documented? I'm certain they did. Do excuse me one moment. C'est l'heure de partir. Salut ta mère de ma part. Au revoir. Well, that sure is a pretty language. 
I have so few chances to use it. We were saying, the runaways. I'm sorry, no, I haven't seen any. Certainly no one that would say they were. No, I wouldn't expect they would. But uh, you haven't seen any trespassers here, some noises at night? Only Simon snoring, I'm afraid. <laughs> Can't fault him for that, he works hard. Well, is there anything else I can assist you with? No. No, thank you, darling. You've been a big help. I just think I'll uh, pass on the Mojita and the bread and get on into town. Maybe I'll see you there. Won't be a sore sight. Oh. One more thing. You think uh, I could see that freedom certificate of yours? Why do you need to see that? I, you know, we're in a hurry. Well, uh, don't burn the bread. This is for your own protection. Now, you know how I feel about you. But there's a lot of angry white people in town that, well, they're tired of the runaways crossing the river. I just want to make sure every I is dotted. You know what I mean? All right. One moment. Is everything in order? You do recall attending my wedding to Simon, no? Like I said, Melva, I want to be careful. Just one thing bothers me. Cousins, good people. She was just showing us around. What you, darling? Madame, we were listening in, and it appears there are some incongruencies with your story. It's again, it's French word. Incongruencies is English, you ignorance. All right, make with the French. Come on. Mademoiselle. Quel est votre nom? Mademoiselle. Quel est votre nom? All right. She knows goddamn good and well this bitch ain't French. She's done nothing wrong. She deserves the freedom as much as anyone. As much as you? Run away? I'm certified as a free woman. Sheriff has my freedom certificate. Problem is, I don't see a receipt for the $500 bond that's required. 
It is not now. But it was then. This is illegal. Madame, this is the document you need to be worried about. This is my likeness. I, I agree, but this can't be me. I've never been a slave. Cheris, tell them. Melba, for mercy's sake. They have a warrant. Go with them. That's right, sweetheart. See, <clears throat> according to the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, a couple of bounty hunters like us can return a fugitive slave like you to the southern slave masters. But I'm not a slave. The sheriff is just ignoring my freedom certificate. What? No, no, keep it English. Plus, you'll say anything right now, partner. You know how darks get. Something just feels wrong about this. For pity's sake, I want it. Is your exact likeness. How else an affidavit get filled out except that the slave owner knew her? Let the other one go. Why? Because we don't have a warrant for her, wouldn't do no good. Huh? Ain't you the one always rambling on about due process? Hmm? Madame, you're free to go. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. What is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Repay. Soon. Sounds good to me. I don't mind telling y'all, I've had one hell of a day. I'm guessing it's about to get worse. Sheriff Fraley, I know. No, but be a dear in an appointment with these trespassers. The ones who best keep their hands where I can see. Simon, they say I'm a runaway. They're here to arrest me. He's uh, just performing his civic duty. And uh, I'd hope to have this concluded before your arrival. But we have a sworn document that names your wife as a slave. She immigrated from France. She ain't never been no slave. You see a field right? Put down the rifle. Or you will be arrested for obstruction. He's right, Simon. It's legal. Not just now. I'm the law, me and this here rifle. And I say Melvin and I are leaving on two of those horses. Uh-oh. See, I'm betting you ain't never fired a rifle before. And you sure as hell ain't never killed a man. On the other hand, <clears throat> my friend Isidore here, He's killed more men than the pox. <whistles> He's fast draw. As far as I can recall, he ain't never missed. Yep. Yeah, no, no, no. Maybe you could drop his door with the rifle, but then I'll get you. In your wife's predicament, 
becomes decidedly worse. Maybe you take a shot at me. How good a shot are you? And the rifle seems to be moving around quite a bit there. You might just kill this pretty wife of yours. And in that time, Isidore will draw his gun and shoot you dead. I've seen it. Nah, I'd hit him. And we can meet Jesus together. Well, I've been dead. Didn't take. down in my head and you got that long to put down the rifle or I'll open her up. Please, stop him. No, he won't do it. Ain't no money in it. Sure he is. I'll just go get that one we let go. Make do. Cyrus, don't do this. Listen to the frog, Cyrus. This is wrong, Monka Ben. I done told you, you can't sound tough when you're talking that damn French. When you walk through the waters, I'll be with you. When you walk through the rivers, they won't sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, Simon. Simon, put the rifle down. It'll be fine. This can't end like this. Take a collection at the church, hire an attorney. We'll get this sorted out. This is perfect, Melba. Can you believe it? It's all ours. <laughs> I can see it now. Right over here could be like the wall with the chimney. And then the kitchen could be right here. Maybe our room over there. <laughs> right here, a room for the kids, huh? What do you think?
Melva. 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 Oh. I don't believe the dream I had. I hit myself. Melva.